identifiers. So let us learn what are identifiers. Identifiers are symbolic name. Identifiers are used for representing variables, named constants or parameters, program names, subroutine names, function names, etc. Let us find out what are identifiers. Let's move back to this program. So this program has many statements. First statement is a program header. It begins with this word and it ends with this word. So first word is called as a keyword. P R O G R A M is the keyword. You can see that in this program there are many words colored like this. So this is a keyword. This is another keyword. W R I T E. This is stop. S T O P. And we know that these are Fortran commands. So keywords are basically Fortran commands. These words are used by Fortran for performing some actions, and therefore these words cannot be used as variables or constants, etc. All other words we use in our program are can be called as identifiers. For example, D E M O is an identifier. This identifier has been used as name of program. Radius is another identifier. This identifier has been used as a variable. Pi pi is another identifier. Area is another identifier. So radius pi area these are identifiers used for storing data. So identifiers are symbolic names. These names are used to represent as program names or variable names or constant names etc. We will see what are variables, what are constants afterwards. But you should remember these are used for representing variables, constants, names of program names etc. So this is the first part that is identifier. I should remember Fortran is case insensitive. That means it does not make any difference between uppercase and lowercase letters. So letters written in uppercase, uh, sorry, identifiers written in uppercase are same as identifiers written in lowercase or written in mixed case. Let us move to the next point that is rules for writing valid identifiers. So you should remember that yeah, an identifier is used for storing data. So whatever identifier we use must not be a keyword. So there are some rules. The first rule is it can have 1 to 6 characters. Minimum 1, maximum 6 characters. First character must be alphabetic. That's any character from the list A to Z. Rest of the characters if any may be any combination of alphanumeric characters A to Z and 0 to 9. So first character alphabetic remaining characters alphabetic or numeric. Special characters are not allowed. So these characters are allowed and these are not allowed. So first thing we have to learn is what, what are special characters. So special characters are all printable characters that are not alphanumeric. So all characters on the keyboard that are not alphanumeric for example you can see the at symbol on the keyboard. You can see slash, comma, etc. So all those these characters are special characters. And most important thing is wizard words or keywords are not allowed as identifiers. So if you follow these rules, then that identifier is valid. Let us go back to the program. So these are the identifiers. Let us find out whether these identifiers satisfy the rule. The first rule says minimum one, maximum six characters. So for example, if I move to this identifier, this has four characters, so it is okay. First character has to be alphabetic. It is alphabetic and therefore it will work fine. Remaining character should be any combination of alphanumeric characters. So remaining characters are alphanumeric characters. So 
this you can see here. Let us move to this program. So this is another program. So I'll write some variables and uh, I'll write some identifiers and let us find find out whether those identifiers are correct or not. So first identifier I'll use is x1 and let us say this is uh, ui display value of x1 and I'll display value of ui. Let us find out whether this program works. displays values that means the program works properly but now I'll change values <coughs> I'll display values like this u dash i and variable percent x1 So now let us go back to the very, uh, rules. Uh, the first rule says 1 to 6 characters. So this variable has 3 characters that is okay. Second rule says first character must be alphabetic. Here first character is not alphabetic. So this variable should not be a valid variable. Come to this variable. First character has to be alphabetic. <coughs> Remaining characters should be any combination of alphabetic or numeric characters second character is dash which is not an alphabetic character or rather a numeric character and therefore this variable is also not valid so let us try to save the program and compile the program so i get some errors so that means this program is not working so let us remove those characters i'll remove this character i'll remove this character from here instead of u i i'll write u3 4 i t and this is x1 u34 it 34 i t this is x1 and now save the program and execute it now this works fine that means these variables are valid. These are Fortran keywords. So these words should not be used as identifiers. These are not valid identifiers because these have already been used by Fortran for representing something for some actions. Next topic we'll be learning is data types. So let us first find out what is a data type. Come back to this program. I'll go back to the original program. This variable was x. This was variable i. I'll display values of x and i. So value of x is 22.78, value of i is 22.78. If I execute this program, I should get same value twice. Save and execute. I got 22.78 and I got 22. So that means there is some problem in the program. So let us find out what is the problem. Fortran uses something called as implicit type declaration. That means data type is decided by Fortran compiler implicitly if data type is not specified by the user. Specification of data type by the user is called as explicit type declaration and the specification of data type by the compiler is called as implicit type declaration. So here Fortran uses implicit type declaration because I have not declared data type of variables and according to implicit type declaration rules x is a real variable and i is an integer variable so this being real variable it can handle this value 22.78 which is a real value but i 
being an integer variable cannot handle this value because this value is a real value so this variable can handle only integer value and therefore when this value is stored the part to the right of decimal point is truncated and therefore the program does not work properly so I have to change data type of i so that it can handle real values so if I change data type of i then that will be called as explicit type declaration right now this program uses implicit type declaration if I use any variable other than i which does not begin with any character from the list i to n then this program will work properly for example if I use y here save and compile I get same value twice but if I use any variable from the list i to n <coughs> let's say k remember first character should be from the list i to n so if I write kp and y first variable is kp second variable is y I get first value is 22 second value is 1 so that means now kp is not capable of handling real value because it is an integer variable so let us learn something about type declaration or explicit type declaration so explicit type declaration is done like this first we write name of data type real kp so now kp will be treated as a real variable if you want you can declare both the variables So if I do this, now this program will work fine because now kp and y both are real variables. I can omit y from this because y is implicitly declared as real but this program will still work fine. preferred method is declaring all variables explicitly you can learn type declaration detail by referring to any book but this program demonstrates how a data type is declared next we want to learn something about variables and constants so what are variables and what are constants let's come back to this program this program uses these variables radius pi and area so according to our convention radius and area are variables whereas pi is a constant let us execute this program I'll change value of radius to 10 so that I can guess what should be the output I'll execute this so this program is working fine if you want you can set value more precisely This is the output. Now the problem is pi is a variable. Actually, pi should have been a constant, but here pi is a variable. If I try to change value of pi, I can change it. You have just seen that I've changed value of pi and the program worked fine. If I say that pi is 34 33.1459, the program will still work. which is incorrect because pi is a constant its value should not change or you should not be able to change value of pi so we have to declare variable and constant here everything radius pi and area are variables 
So let us learn how to declare variables and constants. So variables we have seen are declared as data type followed by names of variables. Radius. So these are variables. So variables have been declared using type declaration statement. Parameter, name of parameter, and then value of parameter. So this is the syntax used for declaring a named constant or parameter. Now I can remove the statement. Save and execute. This program works fine. Now if I try to change value of pi, let's say I'll add one more statement here to change value of pi to 45.9. Save and execute. So if I do this, I get error. So that means now I'm prevented from changing value of pi because this is a constant. So what we know now is pi is a constant now and radius and area are variables.